Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Flask tutorial video. This one, we're going to add Bootstrap to our Flask application. Of course, there are a few ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you my preferred way. And we're also going to show how to just add static files like JavaScript or CSS files to our Flask application. And before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any in the future. And if you're looking for more content with provided source code, some follow along projects and stuff, my Patreon will be linked down below. You can check that out. It'll be in the description. And yeah, let's uh, hop into it. So where we left off, we talked about HTML templates. And these are found in the templates directory, and then we can serve them up using the render template function. And aside from just rendering these templates, we can also pass in some variables into these templates and have some more dynamic rendered HTML. But today we're gonna to talk about how do we add Bootstrap to our application because I wanna make a nav bar just as we did with the other two applications prior to this. So let's hop into it. So the first thing I did is I just Googled download bootstrap and that led me here. This was the first link. And here you can download bootstrap files. You can download the CSS and JavaScript files. And I just click download here. It'll be a zip file. And then I just moved it into this flask folder. And if we look at this in the file explorer, here is the zipped folder of all of the CSS and JavaScript files that they can give you in bootstrap. So I'll go ahead and extract those files here. But really, there's only one file I care about that's in the bootstrap CSS. It's the bootstrap min.css. And if we look at it, here is all of the styling that bootstrap gives you. Of course, it's not pretty to look at. That's why it's the min file. But if we look at the bootstrap.css instead, it'll be styled easier for you to read. But to save us some space and maybe some loading, uh, we're going to use the min.css. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go back to our Flask application directory and I'm going to add a new folder called static and it has to be named this just as templates have to be in the templates directory because flask when we use a function that we're going to show here in a second is already associating static files into the static directory so inside of the static directory let's go ahead and paste that min.css file and then let's go ahead and create something that I know in bootstrap has a styling so let's put a button here button and the class is btn and then btn dash primary and inside of this we can say testing and if we serve this up now it's going to be a boring old button just like this testing right but once we add bootstrap this should look prettier it should be a blue color and you'll have a hovering effect when you go over the button so to add the css file we're going to do it like we normally would in html let's use a link tag in the head in the href, we're going to pass in a function that's going to resolve itself and spit out the location of a file that we asked for in the function. And that's going to be using the URL for function. So here we can say URL underscore for, the first parameter is static to denote that we're going to look into that static directory. And then we're also going to say file name is equal to whatever our file name is. In our case, it's bootstrap.min dot CSS. So in quotes, bootstrap dot min dot CSS. And now if we serve it and we take a look at the app and I refresh, we now get the bootstrap styling for this button. So I'm going to go back to the bootstrap uh, documentation here and let's look for in the components, there is a nav bar. And I'm just going to copy one of these guys, probably just this basic heading nav bar and put it right here. And this app is going to be called the character counter app, just like the other two that we created with different frameworks. And now if I refresh, we get the styled nav bar. And mind you, you could do the same thing with JavaScript files. If I had a JavaScript file in the static directory, the only thing different here, the only thing we need to change is the file name. The file name is not gonna be bootstrap.min.css. It's whatever our JavaScript file is. So if it were bootstrap, .js, it would look just like that. But if I change this directory to anything other than static, if I use the same name here, it's not going to find it. Flask specifically knows about static and knows where to look as long as that directory is named static. So that's how you can add Bootstrap to your Flask application. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about template inheritance. So how do I put a template inside of a template? Kind of like components in Angular. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.